There's nothing quite like a brutal bloodbath to really get a fight going, am I right? I've always wondered how the Mortal Kombat world keeps turning, with all the best fighters constantly getting put through the meat grinder, but I'm sure there's a really simple explanation for all that. Welcome back to the leaderboard. Let's talk about a dude who beats people up with his own dismembered arm. Which characters have new fatalities in Mortal Kombat 1? With the hard timeline reset brought about by Liu Kang, everyone is looking a little different in the next iteration of NetherRealm's famous fighting franchise, aptly titled Mortal Kombat 1. Over the past few months, new information has been released and trailers have dropped, always introducing something crazy and new. This time around, the featured trailer shows off the game's banished characters, weirdos and oddballs who don't always make the main cast. We get to see more of Reptile, Ashra, and Havoc, and fans are losing it over how fun and different these depictions will be. First and foremost, let's talk about Reptile. Over the years, since his first appearance in the OG Mortal Kombat, he's kinda gotten the short end of the stick. He first appeared as a secret boss character and then made a bunch of returns. However, Reptile usually just ended up as a jobber, a less cool and fun version of the series mainstays Scorpion and Sub-Zero. He definitely has a unique twist this time. He's both human and lizard. His fatality's looking pretty gnarly, as he transforms into his lizard form mid-battle, becomes invisible, sneaks up behind his prey, and then swallows them whole. If you think that sounds a little tame for a new Mortal Kombat game, well, you'd be right. After consuming his foe, he regurgitates them and their half-digested body crawls across the ground, covered in whatever high-potency acid Reptile keeps in his belly. And yet, it's still not over. As they try to get away, he, while remaining in his giant monster mode, takes a brutal swing at their goopy body. Sure, the camera cuts in the trailer, but I'm sure in the game, they'll explode like a water balloon overfilled with sensory slime. Yowza. Ashra, the demon who gave up on demoning, goes full fallen angel mode for her fatality. After rising into the sky like an arbiter of the rapture, she sends dozens of horrifyingly beautiful shards careening into her foe. The last couple ping their dome, but she's not done yet. Following up the shard storm, she swings down to the ground hard, emitting a heavenly light that rips all the flesh away from that poor sap's body. The result is something that kinda looks like expertly smoked barbecue, but way nastier. And while Havoc doesn't show off his fatality quite yet, we do get to see what appears to be his fatal blow, in which he hits his opponent so hard that his arms come off and then he uses the exposed bones to stab them in their skull. This servant of chaos is going to be particularly insane. What else did the trailer show us about Mortal Kombat 1? A couple bonus cameo characters got shown off during the Banished trailer as well, most surprising of which has to be the demon mode Serena. Oh yeah, Sub-Zero's crush is back and has more or less shed her beautiful woman disguise. That is a classic Lucifer looking demon right there, all the way down to the red prehensile tail and curved horns. Stryker also makes an extended appearance, going full police brutality with a few shots to the chest, a taser to the neck, and a baton through the ribs. Ouch. The story gets elaborated on just a little bit, mostly just enough to include these newly revealed characters and their motivations. What a bunch of heroes this time around. Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi, Reptile, Ashra, and Baraka. Don't know if anybody expected all of these folks working together this time around, but I guess when the whole timeline's reset, anything can happen. And that is all we know about the latest Mortal Kombat 1 reveal. Each trailer that drops introduces us to something new and exciting, along with a few Olympic-sized swimming pools full of blood. What do you think about The Banished? Have you decided on your new main? Who else would you like to see announced for Mortal Kombat 1? Make sure you let me know down in the comments and subscribe to the leaderboard for more like this. Thanks for watching.